Hello, this question is on linear expansivity. What is the question saying? It's saying, steel bars, each of length like 3 meters at 29 degrees centigrade, are to be used for constructing a rail line. If the linear expansivity of the steel is this, calculate the safety gap that must be left between successful bars if the highest temperature expected is 41 degrees centigrade. Say so this is a bar, for instance, another bar. When you eat this bar up, that is iron bar, it will expand. When it expands, we expect it to get to this level. When this one expands, it will expand, say, to this level. We want a situation whereby we don't just close this gap so that we give allowance for expansion. If you set it up like this, when this and this expand, this structure might collapse. So that is the reason why if you are driving on different bridges across the world, you will see that there's always what? A gap given. The way you are driving, you see, boom, boom, boom. All these are given as allowance for expansion, okay? So the question is saying, as an engineer, you are working with Julius Berger, working with a construction company, and you have steel bars. Each of these, at this temperature, you are to use them to construct a ray. If the linear expansivity of steel is this, calculate the safety gap, the gap that must be left between successful bars if the highest temperature expected is this. Okay? The first thing you need to do in this condition, you must remember or recall the formula of linear expansivity. The formula says that what? Linear expansivity is equal to rise in length. That increase you will experience when the sun is beating this ray. That increase that is changing length over the original length multiplied by change in temperature. That is, the new temperature minus the former temperature. This is what? Linear expansivity. That is, change in length. This one is simply L2 minus L1. The new length minus the old length. The gap to be given. You agree with me, the gap, the allowance is this particular one. All we simply need to do here is to make this the subject of formula, that is the change in length as equals to this, multiply by this, multiply by, multiply by this. Okay, let's substitute, we have this as linear expansivity, that is 1.0 multiply by 10 raised to the power minus 5 multiplied by the original length. You agree with me? It's at this meter. Then, we were told that the highest to be expected is 41. That is the highest 41 minus the current one, 29. That is all. All we have to do now is to work this out. This one simply means what? This one simply means 0 0.00001. Multiply by this theory. Multiply by, if you subtract this 41 minus this, you're going to have 12. Okay? And if you multiply this, you're going to have 0 0.0003 times 12. Okay? And if you multiply this, you're going to have 0 0.00036 which is 3.6 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 4. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Remember, we are talking about change in length. So, original length was in meter. So, this final answer must also be in meter. Okay? Hope you understand this. Thank you. What I'm going to do now, I will allow you to solve this particular one. There's no difference between this and the one we saw before, okay? Increase the length. So you're going to solve this for us. I drop your answer in the comment section. Thank you. Let's look at this. Same thing. A metal rod of length this. That is the original length 
is equal to 100 centimeter. Is it tied through 100 degree? One discipline means is temperature change. It means it was zero before, it was 830, it gets to 100 degree. Okay? Calculate the change in length. Change in length is not known. Linear expressivity is given to be 3. Okay? Now, you agree again, this is equals to change in length over original length multiplied by change in temperature, which you can write as this, which is actually this minus this. Okay? Now that we know this, the next thing we need to do now is to substitute because we are looking for what? Change in length, this. So change in length is equal to this multiplied by this multiplied by this, which is equal to linear expressivity is 3 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 multiplied by L1, the original length is 100, multiplied by change in temperature is 100. Okay? So all we need to do now is just to multiply. And you agree with me that this particular one is 0 0.00. Okay, let me not just solve it like this again. You can do like this now, say 3 times 10 raised to the power minus 5, multiply by how many zeros? 4. 10 raised to the power 4. Using indices, you agree with me that this is equal to 3. They have the same base, minus 5 plus 4, which is 3, multiply by 10 minus 1, okay? You agree with me, this is equal to 0 0.3. Okay? In what? In meter. Hope you understand this. Following the same process, I want to do this for us. What are we calculating for? We are calculating for the variation in length. That is change in length. Okay? Let's look at this. It says, a metal rod of this length at this temperature is heated to this level. If the new length is that, calculate its linear expressivity. Linear expressivity is change in length all over original length multiplied by change in temperature. Okay? Which is equal to what is change in length? This was the original length. This is the current length. It means this minus this. That is L2 minus L1. That is change in length. So that is 40. 0 0.05 minus 40.00 all over. The original length is this, that is this particular one, 40.00 multiplied by change in temperature from here to here, that is 45 minus 20, which is 25. This will give us the upper one is 0 0.05 over. This multiplied by this will give us 1,000. To divide this, now you're going to have 0 0.00005, which is 5.0 times 10 to the power minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the answer. Remember that the unit is this for linear expansivity. Hope you understand this. Very straightforward, not difficult. Following the same process, I want you to do this for us. Drop your answer in the comment section.